Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelique and today's video is just going to be a really quick get ready with me. Um, it's, it was intentionally supposed to be a chit chat get ready with me, but because for the past three weeks I've had unexpected things going on in my life, so it's going to have to be a voiceover. So to get this video started, I am keeping my face hydrated. As we all know, my face can get a little dehydrated and dry, um, so I'm, use, I'm going in with the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist. And after that, I'm going to make sure that I am fixing my pores using the Milani uh, Prime Perfection Face Primer. And so once I am done with that, I am going to be going in with Dark Circle Concealer. You guys know that I am absolutely in love with this corrector. There's nothing that I can find that is anything like it. So once I am all done with that, I am just going in with the Wet n Wild Coverall Correcting Palette using my Ulta Concealer Brush and just making sure that I cover up all of the redness that I have on my nose and my chin. Once that is done, I'm going to make sure that everything is blended out. For foundation today, I am using the L'Oreal Inflatable Total Coverage Foundation in the shade 305. And because I was talking so much, I totally forgot to conceal my under eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right quick. So going in with my beauty blender, just going in, um, blending all of my foundation out on my eyes and everything as I like it to be. So next, of course, going in with my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in the shade Medium and just putting that right where you can see where my bags are underneath my eyes and just getting my beauty blender and making sure all of that is blended out. So as you guys um, know on my Instagram and my Snapchat, if you do follow me, I actually just got a little baby puppy. His name is Jack. He is a half Chihuahua and a half Yorkie. So this is Jack and he is super, super adorable. And while I was recording this video, he just would not leave me alone. He kept crying. So he is very, very spoiled and loves to be carried around the house. Anyways, back to the makeup tutorial. Um, for concealer today, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and just putting that where I want my um, face to be highlighted. Of course, getting my beauty blender and blending everything out. So before I set my concealer, I go in with my finger and just pat my under eyes, making sure that there are no creases. And of course, using my Wet n Wild contouring palette and my Morphe M438 brush, I'm getting that light shade and just patting that right under my eyes to set that concealer. And to bake my face, I'm going in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder and and taking my B1 brush and just taking all of that powder away. I didn't want to bake for too, too long, but I did bake um, under my eyes and my nose area because while I was filming this video, I was actually a little sick, so I had a runny slash stuffy nose. And to bronze my face, I am going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and my M528 brush. As you guys know, I switched over my brushes and I am absolutely in love with this brush. And to give my face a little bit of a contour, I am using the Wet n Wild Contouring um, Palette and I'm taking that darker shade with my Real Techniques Blush Brush and just contouring uh, my cheekbones and the sides of my forehead just a little bit. And for blush, I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Blush in Covet in my handy dandy E4 brush by Morphe and just putting that on my cheekbones. And to contour my nose, I couldn't find my Morphe M459 brush. So instead, um, for another alternative, I'm using my 6 Plus Angled brush to contour my nose. And Jack just wouldn't stop crying, so I had to pick him up, and he is now in my lap. Isn't he just adorable? So I went ahead and did my my eyebrows off camera using the NYX Tinted Brow Pomade in the shade Black. Now moving on to the eyes. Today's palette is going to be the Morphe 350 Matte palette and you guys know that I am in love with this palette so going in with my Morphe M502 blending brush 
and getting that light brown shade I'm just putting that right in my crease and blending everything out I didn't want to be too precise with this color I just wanted to go ahead and put this in my crease I'm not trying to do anything fancy today so I'm just putting that in my crease and blending everything out and you're gonna have to excuse Jack he is such a spoiled little puppy he always wants to be carried and my daughter is always constantly carrying him so he was kind of bugging me in this video and now going in with this darker brown shade um, I feel like this shade has a little bit of a red undertone but I could be totally wrong I am going in with my elf blending brush and and just putting that in the outer V area in my crease and my lower lash line like if I was doing a, a winged liner but because that shadow was just a little bit too light i didn't show it but i went in with a darker brown color and i'm doing the same thing as i did with that light brown shadow and once i was done with that i went in with my 502 brush and blending everything together so there's no harsh lines once that was complete, I am taking my Royal and Langnickel Detailed Balm 18 brush and taking one of those lighter brown shades and putting that right on my bottom lash line. So to finish my brows off, I'm going in with the Brow Gel by Tonya Crooks and it's a clear water resistant brow gel and which I love so much and I'm just putting that on my brows so they will not be going crazy all over my face. And for highlight today, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, and the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit Palette. And you guys, let me just tell you, this palette is so beautiful. I have never seen anything like it. Um, it does have a little bit of fallout um, whenever I do dip my brush into the colors, but it is okay. I do not mind. This palette is such an amazing palette. I am so in love with it. Um, I'm going in with my, of course, M501 brush from Morphe and Taking Forever Lit and putting that right on my cheekbone. And I'm also putting that on my nose and my Cupid's bow, of course what's new and also going to be taking forever lit and forever young and putting that on my temples next for um my lashes i'm going in with the l'oreal Vol uh, luminous carbon black mascara and just putting a coat on my top and bottom lashes of course and to highlight the inner corners of my eyes i am going in with forever lit and also taking that for my brow bone highlight as well for lashes today, of course, I'm going in with the Ardell Wispy Lashes. I know that I always use these lashes. I just forget which ones I use. And I will go ahead and link these ones in the description bar below. And to finish this look off, I am going in with Maybelline Beige Babe and ColourPop Cosmetics in the shade Alyssa. And you guys know that I love to have the best of both worlds. So I'm going in with Beige Babe first. And since that was a little too light, I went in with ColourPop in the shade Alyssa and just putting that right on top. So this is the look that I came up with today. Um, I really hope that you guys like this chit chat get ready with me. I know that I have like so many things going on right now and I'm so stressed out about a lot of things but whenever I come on camera and um, I do my makeup and I talk to you guys it makes me feel a little more better. It makes me feel like the world is just shut out and um, I love coming on here and doing what I love to do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, you can go ahead and share, leave comments, um, you know, I reply to everybody's comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!